Hi everyone, hope you are doing great to the Honorable Mr. Mofit as our lecturer of Pest Management and all our fellow friends. We are from Groom N and 10. With the members, I am Mama Ali Batubara with student number 196. I am Sartin Albira Hayu with student number 188. I am Esti Prasta Indrawati with my last student number 162. I am Sora Idam Taza with student number 186. I am Nurvina Safitri Diantara with student number 160. And I am Marcela Felicia Nirwasita with student number 161. We are about to identify what pests the attack dragon for plant in training field of agriculture factory. Faculty, Bedo Martani, Sleman. So let's check it out. So here I will explain the area of the observation this time. With an area of 22 meters multiplied by 30 meters, where the total area is 660 square meters, with a spacing of 2 meters between plants. There are various pests that attack chicken fruit plants. One of them is caterpillar or spodoptera sp. We found them on stem. They eat stem and leaf holes. Their activity can disturb plants' physiological function. In this case, is photosynthesis. Sometimes, this pest can be found on the fruit. If they leave holes on the fruit or live inside the fruit, it will reduce the productivity or reduce the harvest amount of dragon fruits. The holes that they have made can also be a gateway for various disease pathogens. In general, we can control this pest population directly, take and throw them away if their populations are small. But if the populations are too high, we can do fumigation or use insecticide instead. One of the pests found on dragon fruit plants is Vicemerus grossipes. The pest Vicemerus grossipes comes from the other Hemiptera and belongs to the family Choreidae. This pest lays its eggs on the underside of leaves or stems. The female imago protects the eggs and young nymph groups. The egg stage lasts for approximately 15 days. The nymphal stage consists of 5 instars. Overall, the time required for male pests to complete one life cycle is around 85 days, while female pests require 88 days. Adult males and females are similar in general appearance except that the last abdominal segment of the male is more pointed than that of the female, and the hind leg of the male has a characteristic spine. Nymphs and adults of Pisamerus grossipes pierce the stems and stalks of plants to suck plant fluid, causing the plants to wilt and become stunted. Pest control can be done by catching pests directly or removing the affected plant parts. Next is centipedes. I will explain about centipedes as a pest in dragon fruit plantation. Actually, the presence of centipedes on dragon fruit plantation is not entirely detrimental. Centipedes also have a role in fertility, such as decomposed leaf and garbage in the soil. However, the excessive population and lack of food in their habitat can make this animal eat the stems and roots of young plants in dragon fruit plantation. And that's the reason why this animal become pests because it causes damage on the dragon fruit plants. Plants that are too tall and dense can increase environmental humidity. This is what makes centipedes appear so that they become pests. Centipedes can be controlled by giving access to sunlight to the dragon fruit plantation, trimming plants so that they are not dense, driving away centipedes by taking them by hand if there are only a few of them, and lastly, by using insecticides. Pest sampling was carried out during the day by directly observing the pest in the dragon fruit plants. Sampling was carried out once when the dragon fruit plants had appeared. The samples observed were five plants with the following layout. The formula used is I equal to small n divided by large n multiplied by 
I is the intensity of pest attack, small n is the number of clumps attacked, and large n is the number of clumps observed. Based on the calculation results, it was found that the intensity of pest attacks in the first sample was 25%, in the second sample, it was 14.3%, in the third sample, it was 12.5%, in the fourth sample, it was 22.2%, and in the fifth sample, it was 14.3%. The average intensity of pest attacks on dragon fruit plantation is 17.66%. Pest control with a single approach, such as using pesticide alone, is proven to be insufficient and often less successful. Based on this phenomenon, an effective control effort is needed to suppress the growth of pest population and not have a negative impact on the surrounding environment. One way is to use natural enemies of pests. Spiders are one of the natural enemies of pests, especially insects, so they can play a role in controlling the insect's population. Spiders are polyphagous predators so they have the potential to control various species of insect pests. Spiders are able to occupy a variety of habitats so they can move from one habitat to another when disturbed. That's all of our identification video of dragon fur pests. Hopefully it can be usable to all of us. Thank you and see ya!